morning everybody it's another new day I'm feeling okay I'm wearing my mask because I found that it helps when I disinfect my truck if I don't breathe in all those toxic fumes I feel a lot better throughout the day <laughs> so I gotta wipe down the truck anyways right every day keep the dust off of it I'm trying to keep on top of that I'm not always the best at it but... so nothing quite really beats fresh air on a beautiful spring morning. It is nice out here today. Just moved up to the building here. This is what we're pulling. Got to take this down to Lakeville, Minnesota, which is just south of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And the tarps at the back there. We're ready to rock and roll. Look at this. T-shirt in Minnesota. A sign of good things to come. thingy seems to be falling onto blind eyeballs oh now I can't move you that guy's gonna be merging in here almost to our customer I still don't have a reload yet so things are still pretty slow guess we'll see what happens probably get reloaded somewhere tomorrow I'm guessing can I get into that lane now please Okay, after this car, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm just gonna send it. Here we go. No one there, no one there. It's a bumpy road here, yikes. Bumpier than I remember it. Well, we got the screens out. And you know what that means. If you said it means the weather is warmed up, that's true. What I'm talking about is that, that means we're staying here a while. I've gotten comfy. And a nice breeze is coming through here. I am so happy that it's summertime. Well, this is summer to me. It's still in the springtime, but it feels like summer. So once again, there's no freight. No freight for us today. Maybe tomorrow. Not even like a hint at maybe, you know, something tomorrow. No, nothing. This is how I know this pandemic has actually uh, started to really affect me. I know it started to affect a lot of you a lot sooner already, so I won't whine too much about it, but like I've said before, I've been here, well, I've been driving over the road nine years. I've never had to wait more than a few hours to have a game plan, have a plan set in motion. This is twice now. Every single time I've, almost every trip already, I've had to wait a day for a load. So... If you all will do me a great favor, and I'll do you a favor. Let's convince them to get the ball rolling and get the economy back on the road. How about that? Let's reopen this already. If we don't reopen things, we're going to be dealing with a whole lot more problems than just a virus. People need to work. 
I know you want to go to work. I want to work. I'm sitting here. I don't want to be sitting here. I want to be working right now. <sighs> Manitoba has a plan to reopen. We're starting May 1st. So by the time you watch this, we'll have already reopened. Which is good. I fully support that. It's time. It's time we go. It's time we go back. I mean, we can't, we can't stay hiding forever, right? We can't. If we shut this entire economy down for much longer, the problems that that will cause will be way worse than anything that this virus will cause. I mean, it's not like we're dealing with the Black Plague or what they call the bubonic plague or, you know, we're not dealing with a plague that'll kill you. We're dealing with a plague that has like a 0.01% chance of killing you. Very, very low chance. It is dangerous. I'm not trying to downplay that. It's a dangerous virus. And we want to listen to our health officials. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we're not being taken for a ride. We want to make sure that they're being held accountable. Because if, if we crash everything, and we all go like fighting over food in the streets, and later on we find out that they closed everything down, and they didn't have to, I mean, that's going to be hell to pay, you know? Maybe I'm just ranting right now. I hope you're doing well. We'll be fine. I'll find a load tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to chill here and relax. This it's, it's the perfect temperature outside right now. I have a few mosquitoes buzzing outside my window here right now, but they can't get to me. <laughs> I love these screens. Best thing I ever bought. Got them on Amazon. They weren't even that expensive. Like, I think they're what, like 60 bucks or something? I have an extra pair of these at home, actually. I bought two by accident. Because I thought that only one side came in the package, so I bought two because I wanted one for each window. Turns out they come two in a pack, so I have a spare pack at home. Maybe, maybe I'll do a giveaway. Would you guys like to use these? You see how all these lines are on here? See, it doesn't matter what truck you have, uh, each truck is different. Uh, let's say if you have a Peterbilt or a Kenworth, you just cut it along the line for your truck. And on there as well, and it'll fit in your window. It's a universal fit. It can fit in any window. And it, it works great. Real easy to install. I use them every night in the warm months. Gets a nice fresh breeze through your truck and you don't gotta worry about bugs and mosquitoes. Like, can you see them? Can you see them there? Mosquitoes, little demons. Coming here to suck my soul. It's not gonna happen. So I'm protected. I hate mosquitoes. Almost as much as I hate ticks. I hate them both. Quite a bit, actually. I don't hate a lot of things in life. It's not good to hate things. But I'm gonna tell you something. I hate anything that'll suck my blood. That blood is mine. I grew it myself. It's not theirs. They're thieves. They're little winged thieves. It's my blood. If I want to give my blood, it'll be on my own terms. What's this guy doing? Are you going to park right in there like that? I bet you are. Good for you. I support your decision. Trucker Josh, stamp of approval. Let's hope that nobody comes in and parks beside you on this side because you'll have fun backing out in the morning. I got like the sweetest spot. I got nobody beside me on that side. I got this guy here who's super quiet and super chill super cool he's empty as well I guess waiting for a load so I'll be fighting for freight with this guy tomorrow we better get up early earlier than him he's got the exact same trailer as me we both got 53 foot steps we're both gonna be looking for the same type of freight it's mine actually He's an American driver, so he can take any American freight. I can only take freight that's going back to Canada. That's the law, and we follow the law. <coughs> Excuse me. Not coronavirus, I just had something in my throat. I had a Subway sandwich before, and then I called my buddy Adam, and uh, I guess the Subway sandwich that I ate, it, it made my throat very phlegmy. Oh, it made me cough like crazy. Thought I was dying. No, just Subway. 
Oh, that guy's got a mask on. Good for you, bud. Good for you. I got my mask up here. Always right here. See? You want to see? You want to see? One second. See, you put it on like that. Never touch the inside of it if you if you don't have to. Put it on around there. Put it on around there. Okay. And you pull that down. And you pinch that over your nose. And there you go. I am now protecting you from getting sick. You're welcome. I'm a generous person. I don't want you to get sick. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I got nothing else to talk about, so. I hope you join me tomorrow. We're going to be searching for freight. Well, the load gods are going to be searching for freight. I'm going to be sitting here waiting for freight. If you want to wait with me, I'd be glad to have you. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, tomorrow's a new day. We're going to keep on trucking. We're going to keep our head above water. We're going to make it. We're all going to make it. Okay, everything's going to be okay. And we're going to open everything up as soon as we can. We don't really have a choice. we got to get this thing moving. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and stay healthy.